And good afternoon, good morning, whenever you happen to be watching this. I'm Andrew, a guy in his garage. It is the 18th of November, 2024. And you are looking at what I think might be one of the biggest news stories of the year exceeding everything else. I was of the impression that this would start uh, before November 5th. And it, to my knowledge, right, and it's hard to know what's true anymore, but to my knowledge, Joe Biden made every attempt to make this exact thing you see on your screen happened about a month ago. And the rumor mill was that Lloyd Austin flat out refused to authorize Ukraine to use long range missiles to strike Russia. There's a lot of good reasons for that. Vladimir Putin has said a whole lot of things about our involvement uh, by proxy in Ukraine, but our uh, US attackums missiles require NATO or American forces to guide them into their target. It requires us for programming. He said if any of those missiles hit their territory, it will be a declaration of war because we are no longer by proxy. So you can take that for what it's worth. As I understand, Zelensky was already using the media to run his mouth about how he's going to use this to get back at Russia. And after that, I guess we get to find out um, how Russia is going to get back at us. The craziest part about all this, and, and I'm just going to pray that cooler heads, heads continue to prevail in Russia. Um, the, the Democratic Party's in charge. The will of the people, the people will have their voice. Count every vote. Just gave the entire country a giant middle finger and said, no, no, no. That we were involved in the coup in 2014. NATO's trained their soldiers for war, armed them, equipped them, taught them, or ta taught them their tactics. Got this war started in 2022, never sat down at the negotiating table, and I think they've lost well over a half a million soldiers. The United States is not just going to say the people have voted. We're walking away from this. They are going to push the envelope. So after all that bad news, if you're into cryptocurrency and that kind of stuff, you've already noticed this, and I'm not showing you anything new. Um... I personally believe this is going to be the future of our money, like it or not. Um, I've this one right here, XRP. I have named this. Uh, you know, I heard it from the craziest source that I can't even really cite here. That this this one right here, this is going to be the digital currency of the world. So I bought a whole bunch and set it off in a crypto wallet. Um, about a month ago, I moved money into this uh, and into Bitcoin and some other things, and the gains have been. I'm, I'm telling you, an account that was worth $1,800 at the beginning of this year is now sitting over 7000 and climbing rapidly. And I'm doing my best to just, I, I'm not a pro trader. I'm doing my best to figure out what the tops are to try to sell some on the way up. But this has been insane. Insane. And I don't know any professional traders out there that can look at this and say 90.45% in a week. Huh. They, nobody knows what to do with this uh, except to let it ride. Because um, there is no way at really charting this out and saying, well, we think a good top for uh, XRP right now is $1.27. What I've heard is a good top for it is $5, $10, $20, $30, $593, $10,000. All It's all bullshit for right now. None of this stuff is going to keep climbing. Um, on a whim, and I mean, this is again talking about how unprecedented some of this stuff is, Stellar Lumens. Um, I got into this a long time ago because a friend of mine got filthy rich on this one. I mean, he bought in when it wasn't even worth a penny. He made his money, lives in Aspen now. I've been buying it pretty consistently when it was at 10 cents because when all the other cryptos were in flux over the last years, it went down to 10 cents and it just kind of held there. So it's up 106% in the last week, 18% since yesterday. And again, on a whim, on a little sign I got, I bought some Hedera $400 worth. Um, it fluxed, it went down, then it was 550. Then I got a little sign, got a little bird tapped me about it and said, go ahead and get in on that. Um, so yesterday I put, I put a pretty good chunk of money in it. It's up 48.48% since yesterday afternoon. That's it's none of this makes any sense, but this is kind of like we're, we're in this crazy stuff now. I don't think this stuff's gonna last forever. And I frankly, look at this list. Look at this list on coin market cap. This is just the top 100. And look at all the, there's 101 pages of this. 
because most of this is speculative crap that's going to vanish off the face of the earth in in very very near future in the very near future i believe so if you're into this stuff be careful and of course i still own silver i intend to pay for my house with it one day if things go the way i think they're going to go and it's it's really weird we're getting into a period of time where you know 15 years ago everybody would have said we were insane to say this stuff was coming and in the modern day it's starting to feel like i've got a huge 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 lead on most people and what's going on so to all of you out there that are watching it thanks for being here love you guys take care of yourself we will not get any peace and quiet until january 20th and then after january 20th we will not get any peace and quiet uh it's a if you're the type Pray about it. It's going to be wild. Uh, I'll talk to you guys later.